What's going on? It's Brian Gubernick with Home Helper Consultants and Abrams International. And today's topic is going to be how do real estate commissions work? Now, before we jump into today's topic, I would like to call your attention to two links down below. If you're a buyer, if you're looking to purchase a property in today's market and want access to every property available out there today, click on the link below. If you are a seller, if you're considering selling your property and you need an analysis of your home, you want my team to help you out, click on that link and we'll do an analysis for you and help you decide if selling your property is right for you today. Let's get into the, uh, the topic today though, which is how do real estate commissions work? Um, it, ra it seems like it'd be rather simple, but it's actually a little bit more complex than you'd think. There's really four parties involved in real estate commission, who's getting paid in a real estate commission. You have your listing agent, your listing broker, your buyer agent, and your buyer broker. So let's just use the, the standard or the customary 6% uh, commission, for example. So in a 6% commission arrangement, you're usually going to have 3% go to the listing side and 3% go to the buyer side. Now that 3% on each respective side is going to be split in some fashion between the broker, the listing broker, the buyer broker, and the listing agent and the buyer agent. So while your listing agent, while your seller's agent may sit down with you and sign a, an agreement to sell the property for 6% commission, recognize that they're splitting it usually 50-50 with the other side and then splitting it again with their respective broker. Now, when it comes to real estate commissions, let's just talk about the listing side. If I work with you and, and someone from my team is working with you and we list your property for sale and we get our 3%, here's how it normally breaks down. 1%, so one of those three points, goes to the broker. 1% goes to our marketing costs, our overhead, our admin support, and all of those other things that go along with selling your property for top dollar as quickly as possible. That last percent, that's what I get paid or my agent gets paid. So again, in that 3% breakdown, we have cost of sale, we have cost of doing business, being a licensee, and then we have actually what we net, what we take home. Real simple video, real simple topic for you. I always get the question, how do real estate commissions work? So figured we address it today. If you have any questions whatsoever, if there's ever anything I can help you out with or somebody from my team can help you out with, please reach out, reply to this email, or you can always just send me an email or make, make a phone call over to our office. We'd love to help you out. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.